Welcome to First of Many broadcasts from the Center for Energy Education located in Halifax County, specifically Rhode Rapids, North Carolina. We know that there's been a number of things going on in which students cannot come to school. So if you can't come to school, we're going to bring the educational process home to you. My name is Jerome Williams. I'm the principal of Weimar Davy Middle STEM Academy. I'm here with Mr. My name is Brian Biles, and I'm the math MCL here at Wilmar Middle School in Halifax oh. County. Brian, seem a little nervous. Yeah, so I thought like you in your class. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. But you, uh, we're we're going to roll with it, so we're good. We're good. Uh, okay. Well, we decided that the first broadcast should integrate a STEM theme, but specifically, we're going to look at some scientific concepts, and of course, since Brian is here, and he's a math teacher and a math coach, we're going to talk about mathematical concepts as well. Now, our theme for today is, why keep it on when you can turn it off? Hey, I got a question for you, though. Yes. So last night, I took a 30-minute shower. 30 minute shower. 30 minute shower is what I took. Okay. So that, was I conserving water? Well, it all depends on various things. How dirty were you? Well, you know, I was a little dirty, grimy, but I still took a 30 minute shower. It was the best shower I ever had. Matter of oh. fact, I took all the hot water out of the tank. Oh, man. Took the hot water. Oh. Brian, you know when you're growing up, your mom used to tell you to turn the lights off and don't run all the water out of the tank and those types of things. You know, even though um, um, we have cheap gas prices and things like that, energy costs money. So that's the thing today. Kids, your parents are going to tell you, turn the lights off. Make sure you close the refrigerated door. And in the summertime, as the grandparents would say, we're not trying to cool the entire outside. And we're going to explain why in this particular broadcast. Now, first of all, we thought about talking about energy conservation, thermodynamics, and all these highfalutin things. And we decided that we need to talk to the little bitty ones, and we need to talk to the individuals who are in high school and middle school as well. So that's going to be the topic of the discussion. So we're going to start with some basic scientific facts. You learned in school that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only changed in forms. So the smart kid would say, if energy can't be created nor destroyed, only changed in forms, why can't we keep the lights on? And why can't we just play our Xboxes every single day? And why can't we just, just waste energy? And we're here to tell you why it's necessary to think about these concepts. So we're going to go to the whiteboard, Brian. Are you ready? I'm ready. What you got for me? Okay. Now, Brian being a math major, we're about to do a little math right here. So don't get drawn up. I'm, say, I'm nervous with the equations. E is equal to 1 half mv squared plus mgh. Oh, 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 oh. Time out, Mr. Williams. Time out. We're dealing with middle school students, we're dealing with elementary schools, and we're dealing with parents. Can you break this down? Because I know I'm a bad person, but I'm all confused at this point. So can you break it down for us, please? Okay. Well, kids, as Dr. Cunningham said, inside of our district, we're trying to increase rigor. Well, I guess that's a bit more, bit much for them, Brian. Okay. So let's talk about the concept of, let's talk about the concept of energy. Well. Energy. Brian, what is energy? That's In your own energy. words. What is energy? Uh, uh, right now, because right now I got a lot of energy, but what do you have? Okay. Kids, if you look at the textbooks in simple form, energy is just the ability to do work. Plain and simple. So when you're taking standardized tests, and when the teacher asks you what is energy, it's just the ability to do work. For an example, here's a bottle of water. I couldn't move that bottle of water unless I did work. And by the way, it's a tasty bottle of water, too. Do you have a bottle, Brian? I have a bottle. See my bottle, students? OK. Right. At any rate, now, in order to put the bottle back on the table, I have to exert some energy. So as simple as that, that's basically what energy is. It's kind of an abstract concept. But I don't want to get too deep into that. I just want to explain to you why we need to focus on energy. 
Now, there are various types of energy. Here at the Center for Energy Education, their specific focus is to talk about renewable forms of energy. Here we have one of the largest solar forms inside of the North Carolina region. They're also responsible for teaching people how to use alternative energy forms. Now, Brian, let's talk a little bit about gas prices here. I got one better for you. What okay. are alternative energy forms? Alternative energy forms. We don't want to come back to that. Okay. But I want to make it a little practical. Okay. How are we going to make it practical then? Well, you were telling me that you were spending about $2.65 per gallon on gas, and now how much are you spending on gas? Right now, I'm spending $1.84 on gas. A eighty-four cents. Okay. Now, Brian, we were looking at the world economy, and because of this virus um, 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 situation, people are tending not to drive as much, so therefore, the price of gas has gone down. Now, what's going to happen right after the virus goes away and things go back to what we say, the new normal. What do you think is going to happen? I think that the gas prices are going to go back up. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you an opportunity to demonstrate something about direct proportions if you were teaching a math class. So, here's your opportunity. I'm putting you on the spot. You're putting you on the spot. Okay. So, let's do a chart here for these individuals. Let's just say, for an example. Yeah. Got it? Can I change? Okay. I'm changing my different forms of energy, just like I changed the um, markers there. Go ahead. Okay. I got you. Let's say that gas right now is $1.84 a gallon. Okay. Okay. Hold on, let me do room room. Okay, room. Room. That's my car. It likes to go room room. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Now, let's say that. And the um, springtime is $1.84 a gallon. Let's say by the summer, it drops down to about $1.65. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what most people don't realize is, right now, this could be considered cheap energy. However, once you burn up the gas in your car, Brian, does it automatically come back? No, no, oh, no, no, no. I gotta go to your pocket and borrow your money, put it back in there. Okay. So, here's the case in point. We're talking about renewable energy. Once the gas is gone, it burns out. So, in other words, it converts one form of energy to another. So, it goes from the potential energy in the gas to the kinetic energy, exhaust, and those types of things, and it's gone. And also, it pollutes the environment as well. Global warming, greenhouse effect, those types of things we'll talk about in a different broadcast. But the point I'm trying to make is the following. Right now, this would be considered cheap. So if it's cheap, then it doesn't cost as much to fill up your car. Now, let's take for an example, if you had an electric car, if you have an electric car to fill it up and those types of things, that price tends to stay the same. Now, after this crisis is gone, the price of the electric car gas will stay the same, but let's use the red mark if we have one. We don't. Oh, we do. My bad. Go ahead. After every time gas goes down at least 30 to 40 percent, historically speaking, it's going to go back up. So let's put down $3.65 per gallon. Now, Mr. Um, Bows, how many gallons do your tank holds? My right, holds 20 gallons. Okay, so what's 180 times 20? And it's okay to use your phone and your calculator. Well, I'm going to use my phone and my calculator, and y'all took it from me. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, exactly. All right. So we're doing who? So let's do an estimate right now. Okay. If you don't have a calculator, let's do an estimate. Okay. So roughly, that's real round up, so that's um, two times... Two Go for it. Yeah, two dollars times what? Okay, two dollars times twenty-four. Okay, so two that's forty-eight dollars. Okay. Okay. So forty-eight dollars to fill up his car. Now let's say that it's close to let's say three dollars. So that's three times. Um, hold on, you round it wrong. It'd be close to four dollars. Close to four dollars. Oh, I didn't want to count that. Okay. So four dollars. So four times how much? Twenty. They give me eighty. Okay. Four times twenty is eighty. So then I'm gonna be borrowing money from you. You're gonna borrow money from me. Yeah. So I'm gonna 
I don't think that bought me money. You got your car. Oh. It's renewable, right? Okay. Because we don't have to spend what you pay for. Okay. okay. But the point we're trying to make is the following. Right now, we're spending $48 on this cheap gas, which is not renewable. But in the future, the gas will go up, and we basically double the price. So eventually, we're going to go back to the normal. And because of the normal, we have to make sure that we conserve or either look for alternative fuel sources and those types of things. Okay, so you understand that simple concept. So if you understand that simple concept, we're going to talk about, if you understand that simple concept, now we're going to talk about what's going on inside your house. So let's erase this with respect to energy. Okay, go ahead. Keep talking. All right? The average electric bill for someone in this particular area and the amount of energy that you use generally costs you about $240 a month. Now, if you're in the house and you have multiple people using multiple devices, then you'll find that the average electricity bill should increase by 15%. So let's just say that while you're in the house, normally you may have a $240 electric bill. And let's write the other piece in red. And for those people that are looking, I took the 15% and then changed it to the decimal. How do you do that? You move the decimal two places to your left, and you change it back to the decimal, so it's now 1,500. Well, go ahead. We keep moving. All right. Wow. Mm -hmm. He really knows his math. Some days. OK. So let's just say that, let's let Brian do his math. You keep talking. I'm good. OK. Well, if your parents have already set what's called the budget, and they're going to spend $240 a month on electricity. Now that you're in the house and you're using more electricity, what do you think is going to happen to the electric bill? It should go up. The electric bill should go up. Absolutely right. So it's going to be estimated that if a household of five are using continuous energy inside that house, the electric bill should go up approximately 25%. Please don't quote me on the statistics. I'm just doing... 15%. 15%. Yeah, you said 15. 15? Yeah. You okay, you let's just say 20 because we know the kids are going to keep the lights on. Uh, well, maybe it'll drop down after they understand that. Well, probably won't. Well, that's what the whole point is to get it dropped down. But because they are keeping up lights on, probably got the AC running, okay. the refrigerator's open, playing the Xbox game, uh, what else could it be? Charging cell phones, charging computers, charging all this other stuff. So I would say... We Facebook, 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 Instagram. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, okay. I don't know about this. Like, okay, okay, so we're going to do 240 now. Let's take this out. And let's do the 240 times the 20%. Go ahead, Mr. Williams. Okay. Okay. He's getting into this math stuff, so you see his eyes get beady and that type of thing. Watch yourself, thing. Watch yourself. Okay. All right. So... Let's just say that you have an average of um, 240 multiplied times um, that 20% piece, and we're talking about an increase here. Increase. Students, increase means going up, decrease means going down. So therefore, your parents, while you're home, will probably, if this lasts long enough, will probably end up with an increase of how much? $48. $48. So therefore, you have an increase of $48. Now, multiply that times, let's say, four or five. That can be a sizable amount. Now, if your parents are on a specific budget, and you have this amount of uh, money that you're spending per month, then effectively, you have increased their overall bill. So they could have used that money on something else, but you can't survive without the electricity inside the house. So therefore, we go back to the major thing. Why keep it on when you can turn it off? Okay, so we'll so turn it off. Uh, who will turn it off? Yeah, why we turn it off? Well, we'll turn it off to save money. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot. I forgot. What did you forget? The students don't work. Oh. 
The parents just give the money. It comes out magically. So it comes out just like this? Yes. It just pops out like that? Just, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me be a student. Mom, can I have, Dad, can I have some money? Yeah, sure. There you go. Can I have, I need some for some Nikes. Okay. Okay, you know you get the Nikes, you got to walk like this because you don't want to create them. Also, I need a new pair of headphones. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, um, uh, I need some snacks. Okay, okay. Um, ask me some more, just more. Oh, you just need some more? Okay, let me see if we got some. Nice. Credit card. Credit card. Got you got yeah. Okay. So okay. therefore, the p kids don't realize that the parents have to. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, kids, keep this in mind. During this crisis, some parents may not work. And keep this in mind: the money that you generally get from your parents may decrease. This thing may go on a long time. So therefore, your parents may not have the money to give you. In order for you to do things that you normally do, I get to keep things. Sure. Yeah, I'm positive. Come on, give me my back. Can I keep the credit card? No, I can't keep that either. Ain't no dog. Trust me. Is that you? Yeah, it's just me. Keep it moving. So okay. basically, oh, oh, I'm sorry. So basically, what he's saying is this extra forty-eight dollars right here that you normally would get, and guess what? You're not getting anymore. Wow. Because somebody's got to pay the bills in the house, and if you're home, guess what? That's where the forty-eight dollars is coming from. So you know. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Kids have actually told me that there's a magic money tree. Oh, it is? A money tree. Okay. That's Grandpa and uh -huh. Grandpa. They're okay. money trees. Okay. Yeah. Grandpa. Okay. Keep so going. Grandpa and Grandma may be money trees. But uh -huh. we know that money trees only exist in fairy tales and those types of things, and also in contemporary literature. So, Or if you're going into some type of um, anime, they have money trees there. But in real life, money trees just don't exist. Okay. And if you find a money tree, please let me right, right know. Here, right here, right here. Um, okay. See the glasses right here? Yes. See the glasses? Focus. Focus. Okay. You mean focus right here. Yeah. They're saying we only got about 10 more minutes. So 10 minutes. Get 10 minutes. So I need you to focus. I need okay. Focus right here. All right. So Make let's clean this up. So let's erase all this stuff. Okay. Okay. You got me spray? No, we're good. Go on. You can okay. talk good. So, Mr. Williams, how Listen. can we keep it off? What can we do to possibly save money so I can get this money back in my pockets for my, for my students? Okay. Well, I'll let you write some of these things in. You know my handwriting is terrible. Yeah, we know. But go ahead. I'm listening. Go on. Seriously, you guys are going to have to learn while you're at home. And we're going to use a lot of uh, technology in order for you to keep up with lessons and to learn various concepts. So when you do come back to school, uh, you won't be missing a lot of um, uh, information. But the first thing we need to do is, let's, for an example, say that you have a hot spot or a Chromebook. Okay. That's the first thing. When you plug the computer in. Okay. Okay? The computer generally takes up a certain amount of electricity, but however, you're only going to study no more than four to five hours a day, if that. Right. So if you're not using the computer, do not put it into sleep mode. Turn it off. Okay? Next point. Right now, the temperature outside in Roto Rapids is 45 degrees. Therefore, when you set your thermostat 15 degrees below the temperature outside, I'm, I'm sorry, above the temperature outside would keep the house nice and, um, let's say, the climate um, livable. So make sure that you don't turn the thermostat up to 80 to 90 degrees while you're at home. I got one question. Yes. Put on some clothes. Yeah, put on some clothes. Don't walk around. Or, if it's, if it's hot outside, what do you want to do? Not put them on, but what? Well, well yeah, with, within reason, right. t-shirts, that type yeah. of thing. Yeah, but we you get the message. Yeah, we get the message. But at any rate, don't turn the thermostat up completely hot. We're going to say don't turn it up? Don't turn it up. Not to the point where they're cooking. Or, don't turn down. Don't turn down. All right. Keep it moving. And don't fuss with your parents when they tell you these things. Right. Number three, uh -huh. going into the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. The I'm laws hungry. of physics says that heat goes from... I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. Okay. Can I go to your refrigerator? Are they going to feed us? I don't know. Are Can they going to feed us? Can I go to your refrigerator? Yeah. I don't know. But my bad. we got to stay focused. Okay. okay. All right. So, next thing. Don't go into the refrigerator in 15 minutes. The laws of thermodynamics are simple. I can write the equation. The equation goes like this. Q is equal to MC delta T. This is basically the heat 
loss, and then there's another thing called yeah, latent heat, and those types of things. Bottom line is, if you open it up, it warms up, it has to cool itself, it uses more electricity, so don't go popping in and popping out. And the microwave's the same thing. Everybody like noodles and that type of thing, and so on and so forth, but all of this stuff burns energy. So what you can do is, family time. If you say it one time, you're going to eat during the day, one time you're going to do snacks, one time you're going to do this, it cuts down on the um, use of electricity throughout the day. So schedule times for meals that when you're going to eat. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I do. So basically what you tell them is don't be bears trying to go in the refrigerator all the time. Yeah. See, I got it back there. Yeah, don't try to be a bear and walk the refrigerator all the time. That's what you're trying to say? Yeah. Oh, I got one. Can I get one real fast? Yeah. Can I get one? Okay, so I'm a math teacher, so let me help you read my reading people out. Students, instead of you turning to the TV on, guess what? Pick up a book. Because that's what you need. You pick up a book, guess what? I can unplug the TV, save that energy, and guess what you can get back in your pocket? You can get that little money right here. So, my reading teachers, I got y'all one. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Williams. My bad. Oh. Yeah, okay. Keep moving. All right. Bro. So, next thing. The showers. Mr. Uh, Bow said he took a 30-minute shower. I guess that's because he was cleaning the building, up cleaning the building yesterday. But cut down your showers to about at least five minutes or so. Would you say that's reasonable? Okay. Now, make sure that you wash and clean yourself and things like that. But it's extremely important that you don't keep running the hot water tank continuously. Continuously. Can you tell why? Because water has a heat up through the hot water tank, you're just a little crazy right here, uh -huh. and it basically causes you to use more energy. Okay. All right? All right. Next thing. Uh-huh. Make sure that you turn the lights off in areas that you're not using them. Okay. Explain why, Mr. Bowles. Why? Wow, I can't see. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Very anyway. Exactly. Any you know, energy can't be created nor destroyed, but it transforms from one point to the other, or one form to the other. Well, Money is energy as well, so we don't want to dissipate that money. Okay? Hey, I got a question. Yeah. So when you turn the lights on, what does it give off? Oh, it gives off heat too. It gives off heat. So then if it's warm outside and you got all the lights on, then what's they gonna do with the heat? Uh oh. So they turn the house to do what? Well, I got another art, I got another point. Ask your parents if they can. By the LED lights, they are more energy effective, and we'll talk about that in later videos. Can I have these two? No, I'll put my money back. Sure. So basically, what happens is when you turn the lights off, it's going to increase the heat in the house. When yes. increase the heat in the house, guess what you got to turn up? Yeah. They see. Yes. Right. So again, guess what happens? Money gone. Wow. He's a genius. He uh, is a genius. Money. All right, that conservation of energy thing. All right, uh, next thing that you can do, all right? Even going out of doors. Well, right now, we are told that we should basically practice social isolation. So you shouldn't be going out of doors as well. But again, that's that heat thing to where if you open up the doors just like the refrigerator, it will basically either cool down or either overheat the house. Right. Can you okay. your six feet back? Oh, oh, I'm not in the square. They got a little square for me, sir. Six feet since we're going to social distance. Oh, six feet. Yeah, six feet. Six feet. Yeah, I think it's six feet. Now. Go ahead. I thought we were doing a metric thing. What was it, like 1.5? Oh, man, come Please. on. Keep it moving. Focus. Okay. Focus. So focus. let's just recap. The question is, why turn it off? Oh, what is it? Why turn it off when you can turn it? Why uh -huh. keep it on? Why keep it on when you can turn it off? Okay. Why keep it on when you can turn it off? Oh, turn it off. And we just gave you some reasons. Now, let me recap. Any good teacher will basically give a summary. The bottom line is this. We've made fun of some of these scientific concepts, and we didn't go really high for loop in terms of these mathematical equations and those types of things. They will come on at a later date. We want you to know that you're there with your parents. They're going to be stressed. Most adults are stressed. The country is stressed. We want you to make sure that you try to help them out by looking at energy in terms of conservations and those conservation and those types of things. And you can do that by doing some of the simple things that me and Mr. Bowles have talked about. Make sure, make sure that you let your parents know that you looked at us on television and we're broadcasting live from Rona Rapids, North Carolina, Halifax County Schools. And here we strive for five. We want to make sure, strive for five. We want to strive for five. Five, five, five. Got five on it. He said five right there. Five on it, five on it. Five right there. Okay. Five right there. Okay. The other thing we'd like to mention as well, um, we're going to continue with education regardless of when we come back to school. Hold on, time out. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bay, hey, who we got time frame? Who got time frame? Because I think we may have some more things. Four minutes? Four minutes. He said four minutes. 
Can you tell us more things? We got four minutes. We got four minutes to talk. Oh, oh, four yeah. minutes. Yes, we need some other um, suggestions for what we did. Can we talk about special relativity? No, quantum mechanics. I want to go into E equals MC squared. No, you can't do it on E MC squared. They need to know how can they conserve at the house. Well, she should be the science guy to put keeping in equations. No. Can we talk about gravity? You know. Okay, we can talk about gravity a little bit, but no, we need something else to talk about. What else can we talk about? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. What else can we do? Oh, I got one. My clothes. Are, I just put my clothes in the washer, right? Oh. Oh yeah, I put them in the washer. So I got two options. It's sunny and it's 88 degrees outside. So do I put them in the dry? Well, what's another way that we can use to dry clothes? Ooh, we put them with Econo. I got one of those ones you just dial in. No, I don't have that in my house. Well, I got a little dial in my house. Kids actually wash clothes? I thought parents do that. Well, it doesn't make a difference. But uh, hey, again, we go back to what? What we go back to? Oh. Money. Money. So, what is another way that I can dry clothes? And it's sunny outside. You put them outside? Yeah. Why do we put them outside? The sun. So what's the sun going to do? Heat them up. Okay. And so, then what do we just do? We change what from what? Oh, we went from one type of energy to the other. Oh, so that's the whole point of this whole thing. Yeah. We're trying to come up with ways to conserve energy. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Wow, that was like smooth. Yes, yeah, it's bigger than it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah, we have so forgot about all that stuff. All right. So, check this out. So for our next one, I think we should show them how to make a hot dog or cook a hot dog using some energy. The solar cooker. Uh-huh. Yeah, the solar oh. cooker. You need to know about it. Yes. The bears looking at us like we crazy. But yeah. hey, hey, we gotta go because they say, hey, we got one minute. Okay. Here. Again, I'm Jerome Williams, principal of Weimar Davy Middle STEM Academy. This is Brian Miles. I'm the MCL math person over at Williams R. Davy Middle School. Hey, mom, Bettina, Buki, everybody else. And we'd like to thank members. Hey, hey. We'd like to thank our um, superintendent, Dr. Eric Cunningham, and also Ms. Mosley the director of the center, for inviting us. We're not professionals, as you can tell. We have fun with this, and we'd like to keep everyone in our prayers. And students, stay actively engaged. Teachers really, really care. We're worried about you. We want to make sure that you get everything that you need. Thank you. Stop for five. Five. Five.